Hello rhinos, how are you all doing? Do you want some breakfast ideas as a type 2 diabetic? Then this is the video for you. Why am I qualified to talk about this? Well, my name is John Collett, and in March 2018, I got diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, and within six months, I managed to reverse my condition, and I want to help you do the same. Now, this, this video was inspired by someone in my Facebook group called Elizabeth. She wanted breakfast ideas, um, and, in my and if you want to be part of my Facebook group charging down type 2 diabetes click the link in the description below but what do I eat as a type 2 diabetic for breakfast well the first one I have is cooked breakfast this is my favorite one by by a long long way uh, it's bacon it's fried fried eggs normally um, and then we have mushrooms organic mushrooms and tomatoes absolutely love it we have it as a family on a sunday as our breakfast it only takes about 15 minutes to cook There's hardly any carbs in this There's plenty of fat in it keeps you going pretty much most of the day i don't feel hungry again until for hours and hours and hours after eating this it uh, and sometimes i don't end up having a dinner or whatever i'll have just smaller meals after but it's a fantastic one to have and go for next one uh, i like is yogurty boggarty okay or for those <laughs> some of you is overnight oats i prefer to call it yogurty boggarty okay so what we take is we get three tablespoons of oats full fat greek yogurt on the top and then berries stick it all in the bowl you're going to eat it stick some cling film over the top stick it in the fridge overnight and uh, next day boom <laughs> deliciousness absolute deliciousness so the next thing i really like to have is portobello mushrooms and poached eggs love portobello mushrooms with poached eggs and i'm going to stick a video here about how you can make portobello mushrooms with poached eggs the next options is all things eggs really you can like I said, poached eggs, scrambled eggs, fried eggs, boiled eggs. Eggs are fantastic. High in protein as well, so it's a really good food for you. Hardly, no, no carbs, which are worth mentioning. So a really good breakfast choice for you. And if you would like to share any of the things that you eat for breakfast as a type two diabetic, please stick it in the comments below. If we all help each other and share what we do, it's gonna be better for everybody. So the next set of cereals I like to eat is for those cereals where you don't have time, you're in a rush, you gotta be on the go. And that is cereals which are in a box, okay? Now I have a general rule normally that if it comes in a box, yeah, don't eat it. But in this case, the world is changing and our options as type two diabetics are improving all of the time. So I'm gonna show you the ones that I like to have. We're gonna start this off with Dorset cereal, okay? I absolutely love this. This is fantastic stuff. It's a muesli, so, and the grams in this is only 24.5 grams. It's got 3.8 grams of sugar, but remember natural sugar is not the enemy, okay? And uh, it's got really good fiber in it, 3.6 grams of fiber. I will confess, it's not the cheapest thing you can buy, but it is absolutely fantastic, and you will find it in most supermarkets, okay? I don't, by the way, just to point anything that I'm showing you here, I, and this is not a sponsored video, okay, in any shape or form, all right? So the next one is what we call, is WTK Kellogg's Plant Protein High in Fiber. This one is dark chocolate and coconut. There's a whole range of these out there, okay? A really good range of, of breakfast that you can have in the cereal. Yet again, in a serving, this is only 29 grams of, uh, of carbs. It's quite a bit higher on the sugar, 5.9, but protein, three grams, so you can't go wrong. 
Another one in that range to show you is the plant power of plant power is a coconut and cashew and almond one, which is really, really nice. I really enjoy this one. Uh, yet again, this is 27 grams, 5.4%, which is sugars, but like fiber again, 3.8 grams of fiber. And all you need to know is our body just needs lots of different nutrients and fiber is one of those things, helps with, you know, going to the toilet and all of these type of stuff. So having fiber is a really good one. Now here is something that I do personally when it comes to my uh, my breakfast cereal, okay, which is not for everyone. Uh, I like to do intermittent fasting, and I intermittent fast from 12 until um, I, I my eating period during intermittent fasting. Sorry, is between 12 and 8 o'clock. Okay, so because I'm not normally much into uh, having cereal at 12 o'clock, I prefer to have a, uh, you know, my sort of either my um, ham wraps or lettuce wraps, I'll put that video here for you. Okay, uh, I'll eat my cereal at 8 o'clock, so in the evening, I know that one of the great things about having cereal at 8 o'clock uh, at that time is that you don't go to bed with a full stomach, you sleep a lot better because your body is not up all night processing that food and because you're going to go to a, into a long period before you eat again you know it's the carbs are not such of a problem because your sugars do have time to go down so i'm not saying you should do that you do what you think is best for you but it, oh one last thing if you're going to have cereal make sure you have full fat milk if you're going to use milk or almond milk or coconut milk but you know, th those are obviously options. I would say stay away from the semi-skimmed milk because they tend to put more sugar in that. And I would always recommend if you are gonna eat milk, go organic milk um, if you're gonna go down that road. So absolutely awesome. Now, if you're looking to reverse your type two diabetes and you want my help to do that, go to the description before, below. It's gonna take, click a link, it's gonna take you to my website put your name and your email address in there and i'm going to send you a video of the five things that our clients do to reverse their type 2 diabetes and if you like what they have to say perhaps i will end up having a conversation with you later on i'm going to put a list here of all the different foods that you can eat as a type 2 diabetic and don't forget you're not a number you're a rhino now charge Thank mm -hmm. you.